unlimited free storage for your photos was an awesome deal. Am I right? And but of course, you know, all good things must come to an end. And in this case, it's Google Photos. Uh, they've changed their uh, storage option for all users now. Um, and as of January 21st, 2021, they've stopped their unlimited, free, full resolution photo uploads. So now what do you do? In this video, we're going to talk about what's really going on here, what your options are, and talk about how to decide what is going to be the best option for you. Let's get the party started. <clears throat> okay, so free is always good, right? We're, we're, we're big fans of free. Yes, okay, now... Let's get it out there, right? Nothing is truly free in this world. What we were getting for free, we got for free because we were getting, they, they were taking our you know, data, they were using it, de-identified and all that kind of stuff. But you know, let, let's be honest about it. There's always a cost, no matter what. So let's just get that out there. But it was awesome, right? You could upload all of your photos and it didn't count against your base storage. So let's back up a little bit and get everybody on the same page here. So that's really what's going on here. Um, the headlines are a little misleading because the situation was when you signed up for a Google account, all you needed to set up was a, like a, a, an email account, right? You got X amount of free storage. And then, especially in the early days, there were ways to get a little bit extra. If you signed up for this or you completed this survey, you know, you did whatever, they would throw a little bit more at you. For the sake of our conversation here, we're going to talk about it, you know, in just the generic level of what the basic storage generally is for people today. Yes, other people, you know, will have different numbers and that's okay because what we're, what we're talking about here is you used to be able to upload full resolution photos, right? From our lovely devices, but really from anywhere. You could put any photos up there, full resolution, and it didn't count against that total storage you got. So, okay, so let's say that you got, you know, two gigabytes of storage for free. Okay, just to, just to set a baseline. Your mileage may vary. Um, so, that would be for, you know, your documents, your PowerPoints, your videos, whatever. But whatever photos you were putting out there didn't count, right? That they, they did not hit your number at all. So if you had 18 gig of photos out there it, it, and you hadn't put anything else that you still had your two gigabytes of storage available to you for free. That's what's really changed you can still upload your full resolution photos, okay? You can still back up your full resolution photos. It's just that now they count against your storage. So they're no longer invisible to whatever mechanism was counting on your storage there. And that's what the real difference is. So it's not that you can't, because that's I, that's why we're doing this show actually, because a lot of people I was talking to were confused. They thought that you could not store photos anymore and you absolutely can. And you can even store them for free up to whatever your free limit was, depending on when you signed up. So if you have two gigabytes of photos, full resolution, and you got two gigabytes of free storage, then it's a wash, right? You've used up all your storage, but your photos are there. Every photo that you try to add on top of that, well, that's where you start to run into the issue because now you've got to either move your photos someplace else, which we're gonna talk about some options, or pay for them, or both. So we'll get into that in a minute too. But first, for those of you who maybe are new here, uh, my name is Kathleen, I'm here as your tech coach. The short story is um, I do technology as my day gig. It's also my hobby, so I do it all the time. Um, so I've accumulated a lot of knowledge that people find useful, and so I come here to share it with you, just like I share it with everybody in my world. So feel free to go ahead and ask questions, reach out, um, don't be shy. We're not shy around here. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, I wanna show you let me see, what's the good one to start with? Okay, so let's, let me just show you what you're probably going to see if you go into Google right now and look at your Google Photos, okay? And that should be this one, yes. Uh, let's roll the dice, will I show up here okay? Eh, it's probably better for you this way, you can see it better, okay. So this is the one for my account, right? So I have, you know, some storage here and I've got some photos um, and you can see here, you know, that I'm not really storing a whole lot in it, but this is the kind of layout that you'll see if you go into Google Photos right now and take a look to see what's going on. This is 
the new part, right? Because now they're like, hey, you know what? You might want to think about signing up for, you know, Google, uh, the, the Google One storage plan. So if you go in to whatever, whichever door you come in, sooner or later, you're going to end up on this particular page here. And I can make this a little bit bigger for you. Hang on. Okay. And this is a nice job of explaining what's going on, which is basically what I just told you, right? So as of, well, when I recorded this, what is, it was two days ago. So was that Monday? I don't know, I've lost track of the days, Tuesday, <laughs> whenever June 1st was this year. Um, any new photos and videos that you added in high quality are going to count against your account. If you are in certain scenarios, you know, doing maybe, you know, the compressed version, the lower resolution, those still won't count against it. So you're still good there. But if you're doing the high res, let's face it, we're taking high res photos. We want to back up and save high res photos. So those are the ones that are going to count against your total. All right. And then they explain why they're doing it and all that kind of stuff. Now, this is a little bit misleading. So we're going to get into this. Okay. Because it says this change does not apply to Pixel 5 and earlier devices. That's mostly true. But there is a time limit on that too. So we're going to get into that. But if you're curious, you can go ahead. You can check this out. Um, I put the link to the blog post about it into the description so you can go and look at that um, but if you come in here and you look it'll tell you what you've got available and all that kind of stuff now i've i'm storing a lot because i actually back up my um my show videos here um which is why i have all of this um but you're probably somewhere around you know two gig uh, is generally what everybody got for free all right so that just that's just to level set everybody get everybody on the same page here about what it is we're actually talking about um okay so <laughs> Right, exactly, Lyle. That, that's what I meant, right? So yes, it was. it's free, or was free, may still be free, depending on who you are. We'll get into that. In terms of money out of your pocket, that, that's exactly what we were talking about here. Um, yeah, exactly. I, I'm, I'm bored with you, Sammy, right? Free is great, but sometimes you're going to have to go up with the money, you know, and, and at some point, you know, that's okay. So Lyle, you're saying you got 15 gigs free? Because that's really good. You you did all the things <laughs> and you got in at the right time. <laughs> that's the other part of it. So that's good. All right. Oh, hey, Laura, how are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you for cruising by. I'm sure you're taking a lot of photos with all the uh, running that you're doing and the training. You're probably seeing all kinds of interesting things that nobody else sees because we all drive around in our cars and don't actually get out there and look at stuff. Very cool. All righty. Uh, so let's talk about what your options are here. And the good news is, is you do have a ton of options, um, free-ish to a certain degree in some cases, uh, but let's just go ahead and get through those. And so what I'm going to do, so basically there's two categories, right? So there is the Google solutions, which are there and viable. Wow. 15 gigs for free. Nice job, Lyle. Um, well, by the way, I apologize. So I'm still doing construction. It's not really construction, but I'm redoing the back wall here. That's why it looks like such a train wreck. I was trying to hide it with the darkness, but everybody told me it was too dark. So, okay. Now you're looking at the, the, the construction going on back there. Um, so, yeah. So, there's basically two categories. Okay. So, you've got your non-Google options and your Google op options. We're going to talk about the non-Google options first, and then we will get into the, the Google op options. Blah, blah. Yes, I can speak English. I really can. Not so much today, but, you know, it'll be close enough. <laughs> All right. So, um, the first thing to recommend would be Flickr. Yes, Flickr still exists. Flickr has been on its own roller coaster. Um, it's belonged to different companies. It's gone, come and gone with different places, but it's actually still out there, which a lot of people don't realize. Um, so you do get, you know, a certain amount for free, but again, it's not everything. They're not letting the high res, you don't get all the features. So, you know, basically if you're going to go to Flickr, you can get an unlimited paid plan. Um, and for that, you can go ahead and just upload all of your stuff. Um, it's like 60 bucks a year right now or $7 a month. Um, so you're good to go. You can do full resolution. You can do video out there. You can do all the kind of stuff. You can share it. Um, it's a pretty nice solution if you're looking to move away from Google. Now, we will talk about what the process is to move away from Google when we get into the Google conversation. But yes, you know, you can do stuff. Um, you can create photo books from there and all that kind of stuff. So it has a lot of, you know, cool functionality. It may not feel when you go there to be like the most up to date thing on the planet, but it's perfectly functional. They're taking care of it. Um, so you're all set to go there. Um, if you're a Microsoft Office user, you already have OneDrive, so you can go ahead and use that. Um, you get a certain amount of one terabyte allotments per subscription 
if you're using the, the subscribe model for um, Microsoft 365. If you're on the free one, then not so much, but you can still go ahead and buy. Um, so if you're ready to go all in on the Microsoft world, that's also another way to go. You can do, you know, you can upload photos, you can do videos, you can create photo albums, you can share things. So all that, all, of, all the basic functionality you would expect you can get if you want to go there. If you are an Apple user, not sure why you're here. No, no. <laughs> A lot of Apple users are hybrid users, right? Not everybody is completely under the Apple umbrella. Um, so, you know, maybe you had some stuff on Google, you had some stuff on Apple, that kind of stuff. So as an Apple user, you have access to iCloud. Again, there's a certain amount that you get for free, not a whole lot, but then you can go ahead and you can pay. And again, you'll get all those basic things of being able to share, you know, you can put videos up, you can put photos up, you can do high res, you can do lower res, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's, you know, for, especially for people who are used to the Apple ecosystem, it's good to go. They're all covered. Uh, you know, they, they won't feel uncomfortable at all. Um, I will say that there is a couple of things that I'm a little surprised that you still can't do there. Uh, one of which is like searching for photos. Okay. Which you know, just as an aside is one of the things I love the most about Google photos. Um, but you can also do that on Flickr and on Microsoft. So I'm kind of surprised that Apple has not made that functionality available. I don't know if it's coming, but just know that right now you cannot search for photos the way you can in every other place. Um, and there's no photo editing tools included in the iCloud solution, whereas all the others offer some version of it. Um, sliding scale applies, of course. Okay, my Amazon folks, right? I don't know how I survived in the universe before I had Prime. <laughs> I mean, I, the, the trucks come by all the time. The nice thing is I'm not the only one. My whole neighborhood, you go out on Cardboard Recycling Day, you see all the smiling boxes. Um, so you also get, as a part of being an Amazon Prime, you do get photo storage. Um, again, it's not completely unlimited, but you do have, you know, a fair amount. Um, the only thing with this is, okay, so photo storage is unlimited right now. But if you want to store videos, uh, you're limited to 5 gig. So... That may or may not be a problem for some folks. It depends on what your situation is out there, uh, but just be aware of they do have different criteria for photos and for videos, um, but it's there. Personally, I find their photo thing a little awkward to get used to, but once once you get in and you poke around a little bit, you know, but it's not completely intuitive the first time you open it up. You kind of have to look at it a little bit, um, but it's it's there. And if, again, if you're already in Prime, it's already a part of your package. So, hey, why not go for it? Okay, for you hardcore, you know, real serious photo uh, photographers or wannabes, um, I, I'm falling into the wannabe category. I really like photography. I like editing photos. I like taking photos, uh, but I'm not what anybody else would consider a serious photographer. Um, but if you are, okay, and you like Lightroom, then that might be a way to go. So that is one of the things that you can still get from Adobe on its own. You don't have to buy into the full cloud thing. You can just go ahead and get that on its own for like 10 bucks a month. Um, and that will get you the Adobe Lightroom subscription. And with that, you get a terabyte of cloud storage for your photos. So that's pretty good. Now, what I have not been able to verify with anybody is whether or not they're okay about vid if you put videos up there. Technically, Lightroom is not a video editor, but you can bring files into it. So it's a little bit of a gray area. So just be aware that, you know, if video is a priority for you, you're going to want to dig into that a little bit more before you commit. Um, but I mean, we all know that, you know, Lightroom is a phenomenal editing tool um, for your photographs. So by all means, you know, definitely yeah, if you're in that world, it's worth looking at. Of course, you are already paying for Creative Cloud. I think it's still covered inside of that as well. Those are all online storage options that may or may not come with something you've already got. Other options is to just go ahead and sign up with an online, you know, backup tool. Um, there's a lot of them out there. Uh, you know, for example, there's, you know, there's Dropbox, you can use iDrive, there's, I'm going to forget now, but there, there's a ton of them out there. Now, they may or may not have like the view features that you would normally expect for a photo storage because these are just general backup options. Um, but it is a way to go ahead and put, you know, your stuff out there. They're also probably not going to have editing tools, but they will allow you to share and that kind of stuff. So that's kind of a wash. And the nice thing about it is, you know, if you're going to pay for that, you're not limited 
to just putting your photos in there, you can go ahead and you can put any files out there that you want um, and it all falls under that same whatever amount of space you bought. So that's something else to think about. Another way to go is to just go ahead and bring those files down and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but you could just take them and put them on hard drives that you have. Now, of course, you know, you're going to want to do your backup, you know, follow good backup patterns, right? You're going to want three copies, you know, a local, an external drive, and then a, another external drive that's stored somewhere else so that in case something happens, you don't lose all your photos. That's pretty important. Um, but that's another way to go. Hard drive space is cheap. You are going to need to cycle it out every few years. So that's something that people don't always factor into this. It is a bit of a project. Um, but you can totally, you know, bring your photos down from Google. That's where you have everything now. Put them onto a hard drive. It will probably take a couple of days <laughs> to get it all set up and then copy that across other ones so that you have your backup of your backup of your backup because stuff happens, drives die, things happen. Um, so you want to be covered there. So those are your non-Google options. I'm just going to take a quick look here and see if anybody has any uh, questions. Oh, we've been chatting. Okay, here, let me get caught up real quick. Uh, uh, on mobile, it shows how much longer you have photos. Yes. So as you go into your various and sundry, you know, Google views, okay, if you go into Drive, if you go into Photos, if you go into the various apps, it's going to tell you how much longer um, you have the window for. But not everybody's going to see that. So the people who are, who are seeing that are most likely people who um, have Pixel devices, which we're going to get into in a minute. Uh, let's see. Uh, you sort of have five gigs on Apple iCloud, except for the fact that everything in your desktop goes as loud. Right. So it's shared space, which you can also add your photos to. So that, that is good. All right. Okay. So it looks like we're pretty well caught up. Yeah. The, the hybrid solutions is a good way to go, Lyle. I'm, I'm a big fan of that myself. Cause you know, safety nets, right? <laughs> the odds of, if you have it in different places, the odds of everything getting trashed at the same time, pretty low. Not that it can happen, but it's pretty low. All right, so let's say that you're gonna go to one of those options I just talked about, right? One of the online ones, one of the, just the backup ones, or maybe you're just gonna, you know, you just want it to come down and um, grab it for yourself. Google has, for all of your information, the ability to go in and download stuff. So you just can go in um, and I'll put the link actually into the description. Sorry, I should have thought of that about in advance, but I will go back and add that in for you. Uh, but basically there's a web page that you can go to. Um, you log into your Google account. You say, you know, you can take everything that you've ever told them or, or stored with them and bring that down, or you can select, right? So in this case, you're probably gonna wanna select maybe your photos and your videos. You can copy those down. Um, and then, you know, you can put them wherever you want. Now, again, photos and videos are tend to be larger size files, so it's going to take some time, um, but they do make the process pretty painless. For anybody who watched my videos about how to get your stuff off of Periscope, it's a much better process with Google. <laughs> um, I've done it a couple of times just to see what it was like. Um, and they package it up into zip files and it's pretty easy to get it down and then you can unzip it and work with it that way. So that's how you're gonna get the stuff down. So the process would be, let's say you're gonna, let's say you decided that you're gonna go with Amazon, right? You're gonna make use of your Prime account and you're gonna upload the photos there. The process is going to be that you're going to go to Google, you're going to hit that web page. Again, I'll add the link to the description. Um, you have to sign into your account, tell it what you want to download, tell it to do it, and it'll say, okay, fine. And it, I think they even, if I remember right, they emailed me when it was done. Um, but you can just go back and check yourself too. Once you've got everything down, you'll have to unzip the files, right, on your hard drive. So you're going to need some space on your hard drive or you're going to need to hook up an external drive, um, which you know, search your favorite store, they've all got them. And then you can go ahead and start the process of loading it in this example. So let's say you're gonna load it into uh, Amazon. You're gonna store your photos there. Uh, depending on your internet connection, both ends of this will take time. How much time depends on how fast your internet service is. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm quite lucky here in that we have Fio, so I have ridiculously good speeds up and down, but it still took me a couple of days when I did the test to bring everything down. Um, so you may want to chunk it up. You may want to plan it out depending on, you know, who you're living with and how annoyed they would get if you suck up all the bandwidth in the house. Um, and just plan out that it's going to take a little bit of time. Same thing, you know, if you're going to put it into, you know, something like, you know, um, iDrive or, or wherever else you want to put it. 
pretty much the same thing without the internet connection if you're going to use an external drive you're going to hook it into your computer and you're going to let it go now the nice thing about that is you know you can set it up and let it run overnight um, and just you know go in and sanity check a couple of files to make sure that everything is working and everything is uh, showing up the way you're expecting it to um, so it's a little bit of time but there you go uh, the other option okay so let, let's just so I, I already I, I'm surprised somebody said it in chat yet but I know that there's somebody out there who's watching this going I have a pixel phone I have unlimited for life mm, kinda <laughs> you kind of do so okay y'all know I'm I'm a pixel girl right I've got I've had a couple of them I'm already eagerly awaiting the new one so that I have the, the pixel 5 right now and it's great I love it except that it's a small phone and I have fallen in love with the big phones. So there was when I bought this, there was no large option. And I struggle with this because I use my phone like a computer with you've heard me rant about this before. So I am eyeing up because all the rumors are pointing to a nice big, you know, pixel six XL. I hope. And with your pixel phones, as you've gone through this process, you were getting lifetime free storage of high resolution photos. So that's back to the original thing that we were talking about, right? When you set up with Google in the beginning, everybody got free. And what that meant was it didn't count against whatever storage you had with Google. And that was true. And it's still sort of true for some people. So here's the thing, the, 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 the key here, I almost said trick, but it's really not a trick. They were upfront about it if you read all the, the fine detail. The details about this are, lifetime meant the life of the phone okay so i had the original pixel xl and i had the pixel 2 xl i skipped the three and four and i went to the five so with the xl and the 2 xl that was the lifetime unlimited free when i stopped using that phone that lifetime ended <laughs> so that was it so when you hear these kind of deals, it, that's what they're talking about. It's not your lifetime. It's not the lifetime of the photos. It's the lifetime of the device that's getting you the freebie. And really, I mean, you know, it's not unreasonable. Some people get very angry about that. Uh, life is too short for me to get angry about that. So, you know, that's what it is. So th if you're still using the original Google Pixel XL, okay, then you're still covered by full quality backups for life, okay, until you switch your phone. Um, now, of course, it's not obviously going to last forever, even if you want it to, because they're going to stop su supporting that phone if they haven't already. Um, and it's, it's going to die. Okay. So actually here, so it, it actually, it ended two years ago. So eventually it's just going to give out, right? And you're going to have to replace it. So, you know, enjoy it while you've got it, but just know that the end is coming. Um, the same thing for the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. Okay. It's unlimited, but then it's not. Now what they did in that situation was if you didn't want to buy storage they compressed all the photos so that it's a storage saver so basically they took your high resolution files and they brought them down a little now let, let's be honest here a lot of us would if you put the two photos up we wouldn't be able to tell the difference <laughs> okay but because I do like to play with the photos and you do get some functionality out of the high res that you can't from a standard you know that's when you're started to notice so to be perfectly frank you may be fine with the saver right version of it the, the, the more compressed but not everybody is and it's not full high unresol you know uncompressed resolution so just be aware that that's what the scenario is is that they you know they will take it down to a lower res and you can still have the photos there for free um with the google 3 and the 3xl okay you get full quality through 2022 not that far off, right? And then that also is gonna to switch to the storage saver version after that. So with that one, they, they drew the line in the sand a little harder, right? It's not a matter of how long you use the phone, it's as of January, what did they say? January 31st, 2022, then any full quality backups are gonna count against your, account, your uh, storage totals. Um, but if you go compressed with them, then they'll still be free. So you do have free options. That's, that's the happy takeaway from this, is that if you want free, you can still get it. You just have to go with the compressed version of your photos. Okay? 
Um, yeah, so as you know, and the compressed ones will be free f of charge for longer. At some point, they're going to start charging for it. Uh, so the same case with the 3A, the 4, the 4XL, the 4A, the 5G, and the Pixel 5. Okay, so these are also. Um, sorry, I just completely blanked out there. Um, so these also started off with a certain amount for free, but then of course now it's really just focused on the saver part of it. Going forward, I would imagine that this pattern of, of okay, you get a, you know free for a year or two, and then after that, line in the sand, and then it goes to either saver or it starts to count against your um, your total. And that's an important thing here to keep in mind. People are overreacting to this, like, you know, oh, I'm gonna lose my photos. You're not gonna lose your photos. It's just gonna count against whatever storage you've got. And if you, if the amount of photos that you've got pushes you over, then they're gonna start telling you, hey, you need to pay or you need to unload some, some files, which is reasonable. So hopefully, let me just make sure that that was clear because it's something I've been explaining to a lot of people. So I'm hoping I've got it down pretty well. Um, but if, if you need me to go through it again, just let me know. Let me just double check here. Okay. So yeah, so this, right, Lyle. So lifetime photos, it's right. It's the lifetime of the device. It's not your lifetime. <laughs> that That's the difference. Everybody thought lifetime meant forever. No, it's the lifetime of the use of the phone or whatever di device they were giving it away for. Right. So, yeah, so, okay. They yanked it away, but they didn't. It's not like they took your photos away. It's not like they deleted your photos without warning, right? So let's be very clear about this. When they're yanking away, what they're yanking away is the fact that it didn't count against your storage total. That's the only thing that's really changed here. And granted, that's not, you know, inconsequential. It has an impact. But I did want to make sure that we're very clear about the fact that it's not that your photos are gone. It's just that either you're, you need to go ahead and, and, you know, compress them or you need to start paying which is where we're going next with this because that's your other option, right? It, we talked about all these different ways to move things and all that. Um, but the reality is you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. If you want to stay with Google, they make it really easy. <laughs> okay. If you've already got, like you saw, well, actually, do I still have that open? Let me make sure if I, if I have that open, I'll bring it up again. Oh, uh, where is, Probably not, right? I probably shut everything down because I have a tendency to do that when I'm running through this. Let me look one more place. Um, actually, you should do it this way. Where is... No, oh, maybe not. Okay, so if you remember back a couple of seconds ago, I was showing you that um, you when you go into whatever Google, whether you go on the app or on the computer, it's telling you what's happening, right? How much storage you have available, how much you'll have available after the photos thing. Um, so it, they're giving you all the information you need so you can make a decision. If you want to go pay for it, well, first of all, if you don't have Google Photos, you can just go sign up for it, by the way. Um, but if you want to, you can just stay with Google and just start paying for the storage. It's not terribly expensive. Okay. Oh, actually, so I started off with 15 gig for A2. Hey, I'm like, I'm like Lyle. I had 15 gig too. I do. I do all the things. I try to get all the free stuff, but you can go ahead and pay. So here are the different plans, right? So for $20 a year, you can get hundred gigabytes. That may be more than enough for you. Um, for $30, you can get 200 and for a hundred dollars a year, you can get two terabytes. So the prices are not completely out of whack. And if you remember back to when I was talking about the other alternatives, this is the model. Okay. You get a certain amount for free and you are welcome to use that for free for whatever. That's what's changed. Okay. If you've got the 15 gig, then whatever photos, videos, you know, other files that you've stored, you know, word documents, images, whatever the heck, that's fine. You as long as you're still under that 15 gig, you're golden. It's still free. You can still keep it at high res. Okay, if you need a little bit more room, you can compress them and still stay under that, that limit and you're still good. If at some point, you know, you need more space, you can just pay for it. You can leave everything where it is. And that's, that's what happens is instead of having your Google photo storage and your Google drive, now OneDrive storage, 
now it's just one drive storage and everything goes into that one big bucket and so that's that's the bucket that you've got right if you've got a 15 gig bucket that's what you're filling up if you've got a 200 gig bucket that's what you're filling up so it's really not that big a deal as long as you understand what's going on right and so then you can make the choices that are best for you if you know you look if you do a test of you know you take a, a high res and you compress it down to the the saver level and you compare them and you're like that looks fine for me you're good do that and you don't have to worry about paying for anything if you're really a, you know want that high res because hey you know that is the perk of these cool phones right um and you've got videos and you've got all this other stuff then go ahead and you know you cough up the 20 bucks a year and get your 100 gig and ride that out you can always upgrade later if you need more space right you can also downgrade right so if you get excited about this and you go right for the two terabytes and you look at this in a year and you're like i, I i've used this much space you can downgrade it you can take it down to 200 or 100 they're they're not locking you into anything you just make the best choice for you and then you know go from there if you need more you can absolutely get more from them these, these are just the plans that they make available the other thing and the reason that okay i'm gonna be upfront here this is what i'm doing i'm staying with google i'm paying them um, I've already been doing it because I wanted to store videos and I didn't want to have to worry about it. So my, my pattern, right, for backups is I have on my main computer, I have a, a secondary drive that I store everything on. Once a week, I take a, an external drive out of the closet, plug it in, back up anything new, and put it back in the closet. And I also back it up to Google. So that, that's the three levels of backup, which I've discussed before. Um, but that way... You know, if something goes wrong somewhere along the way, one of the others will still hopefully work. But the other thing for me with Google, because I am so invested in the Google infrastructure, let's be real, right? So when you do the OneDrive, once you get out of the free version here, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm waving at this like you can see it. You can't see it. Um, let me I can make this a little bit bigger for you here. Okay, so you get extra perks once, once you go from the free up to here, right? So you, if you go for the 100 right you get 100 gigabytes you also get access to google's experts guess what folks this is how you can talk to people at google when you have problems because if you've ever tried to do that without this not so easy the only thing that's worse is trying to talk to facebook but that's a whole other conversation okay you can add family members so you can share this i don't but you could share this with family members if you wanted to and extra benefits so they offer discounts every so often or whatever um so it's worth checking in here every so often to see what you can get when you bump up to the 200 gigabytes which is a whopping 30 dollars a year you get three percent back in store credits when you buy things through the google store that may not sound like much but i can tell you when i go on my once a year google buying spree that adds up i've gotten I, matter of fact i got um two free devices i got a free um chromecast the, the new one and i got a um the updated speaker basically for free because i had the credits again you can add members extra benefits and then you get the store thing if you go the terabyte route which i have um you get the two terabytes you get access and all that kind of stuff but you get 10 percent back in the Google store, right? So when I buy my phones, when I buy my smart devices and all that, I get 10% back. Now it's only, it's store credit, but that's okay. I use it in this store. Okay. And you get a, you get free VPN access for your Android phone. So you're getting more than just the storage is my point here. Um, and like I said, if you have needs above, um, two terabytes, they got you covered. They will take care of you. You can go ahead and do the things there so yeah so that is uh that is basically what i'm recommending to most people um unless they are like i said unless they're hardcore into you know microsoft 365 or they've got a ton of things you know, a ton of space that they're not using um for uh, android prime android prime amazon prime i've got android on the brain can you tell um or you know if they're mac people i'm like hey go do get be in the world that you're comfortable in and go use the iCloud just know that you're not gonna be able to edit and do photo albums and stuff like that so there's all of that um it took me a minute to figure out what you were talking about john yes the tommy boy thing lifetime guarantee yes define the lifetime right lyle i know that's the thing like i you know every so often i have had to need to talk to google and i before this it was no problem so just so you know so this is one way to do it if for whatever reason you're not but you want to have google fi on your phone which i love i, I haven't paid more 
well especially with everything that's been going on my phone bill has been like 30 bucks for years now <laughs> 30 bucks a month because uh, google fi if you can get it freaking awesome now this is not the internet this is not the fiber thing this is the phone thing um but yeah so that's another way if you've got google fi um, on your phone that's another way to talk to google directly you can get to them but you know this doesn't work for everybody this works for everybody so if you have ever had a need for it and you're looking for storage anyway and these other perks work for you it's it's seriously worth thinking about because it really does it pays off it pays off in, in big ways for me so unless you have any questions that's where we're at so that's that's the whole kit and caboodle here yes you can still store your photos they're not taking your photos away you have a choice between high res and it counting against your storage quota or bringing it down it's still you know it's free for people with these phones but even a worst case scenario if, if you're not a free person then it's still going to count against your um total but it's going to be less obviously because compressed files are smaller um you can take it off download it put it wherever you want whatever makes you happy uh, if you're angry about this you know that's a way to go or you can just go into whatever device you're doing your photos on google and when the little thing pops up you can say heck yes i want to pay and sign up for whatever level works for you um and like i said if you're still into the 15 gig or whatever your you know free limit is you're still free and you're good to go so yeah it's a little sad but it's not the big deal that some people think it is um once you start to really look at it you're like mm, okay yeah i don't love it but i can live with it <laughs> so yes that's that's exactly my point lyle is that there are so many options <laughs> and options are good right you, you you vote with your your dollar your storage space and wherever you want to set up the account okay all right um if you have any questions if you have comments if you have a topic you want me to cover on the show please 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 feel free to reach out uh, you go to yourtechcoach.net there's a form there let me know what your question is what topic you want me to cover if you need more information about this go ahead and pop your questions in there i'm more than happy to help you with it um, all i ask is if you need a fast answer make sure you tell me how to get back in touch with you because otherwise i can't and all i can do is cover it on a future show which is fine but you know don't get mad at me <laughs> for not getting back to you because you forgot to give me an email address you know if you forget you can always go back and put another note in and tell me what your email address is it's all good um but you know feel free i will go back and i will add those links into the description so that you've got everything there one click away you're good to go um just do keep in mind that if you're going to download all of your stuff from google um and that's fine it, it's easy but it does take some time because we're talking fairly large files all right thank you all so much for cruising by i hope you're all having a good week i am here every thursday at 8 p.m eastern time um, i bring a different topic you're always welcome to come and uh, ask questions um we have a lot of fun hanging out in the chat there's some good folks hanging out here so uh feel free to come on and join us if you're catching this on a replay no worries i come back and i check the comments there too so we got you covered in all direction it's all good all right everybody have a good one we'll see you soon bye Thank you.